Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode in our Otto Sturmovig 1946 Iron Man series. Here with the Imperial, Jap Imperial Japanese Navy career. I apologize for taking such a long time to get this next episode out as I've had some personal life issues related to work and stuff. I got injured on the job and had to go through a whole process with that. But that is in the past now. Moving forward, and as you may see here, this is the uh, D5N2 mission. The only reason I have this one up is because this is where D. Humphrey gives us the history behind the mission we are going to be partaking in. In this case, it is the airstrike on Rabal on January 20th, 1942. So I'm going to read the history he gives us here, and then I will quickly cut to the actual mission we will be flying in the A6M2. So, the history. The Battle of Rabaul, also known by the Japanese as Operation R, was fought on the island of New Britain in the Australian territory of New Guinea in January and February 1942. It was a strategically significant defeat of Allied forces by Japan in the Pacific Campaign of World War II, with the Japanese invasion force quickly overwhelming the small Australian garrison, the majority of which were either captured or killed. Hostilities on the neighboring island of New Ireland are also usually considered to be part of the same battle. Rabaul was significant because of its proximity to the Japanese territory of the Caroline Islands, the site of a major Imperial Japanese Navy base at Truk. Together with the rest of the 1st Carrier Division, Akagi supported the invasion of Rabaul in the Bismarck Archipelago as the Japanese moved to secure their southern defensive perimeter against attacks from Australia. She provided B-5N torpedo bombers, D-3A dive bombers, and A-6M Zero fighters for the initial airstrike on Rabaul on January 20th, 1942. Right, with that, I will get to the actual mission we will be flying. Alright, so here we are. I'm going to be the pilot of an A6M fighter. 6M221 variant. Follow your waypoints to the target area. Our section is covering the strike aircraft attacking the Simpson Harbor area. That's where the port of our ball is. Intelligence reports that both enemy aircraft and AAA are a threat in the target area. This, okay. Okay. Alright, so we're going to be escorting some bombers here to attack Rabal. And with that, I think it's time we get into the action. Alright. We're here on the carrier deck. The water seems to have a bit of a different hue to it than the waters outside of Hawaii. It's gonna be a while till we take off here. So I did some practice with my landings here, and I, I think I've got it down. I was able to get some repeated successful attempts at landing a zero on a carrier. So I feel a lot more confident in that department. We'll hopefully see a successful carrier landing here in this mission. But we'll have to wait till that happens. I don't think I'm going to make you guys wait through all of this here, so we'll see you once all these planes have taken off. Welcome back. It is finally our turn to take off of the carrier. That Let's get the engine all throttled up. Sir, 
Nice smooth takeoff. And with that, we are on our way towards Rabal. See you guys. We get intercepted. If not, I'll see you guys a couple minutes out to target. Alright, welcome back, folks. We are about one minute to target. It's pretty quiet on the way over here, no visual contacts. But, uh, yeah, the port of Rabal is right down there. You can see it through the sliver of my pocket screen. And it looks like we have some fighter contacts. One o'clock, so it should be pretty much out in front of us. I'll tell the people under my command to attack them. I don't see them myself. Yet. So they called out fighters one o'clock and I don't see oh I don't know who saw that. It looks like we're gonna have ourselves a fight here. What kind of fighters are we dealing with? I suspect P-40s again? Maybe... not? Maybe Hurricanes? Looks like we're not having much trouble with them. Definitely gaining. Rapidly, I might add. Let's give it the juice. Wow, we are really going faster than these guys right now. I'm actually not sure what kind of planes. Who did tell me they're P-36s? Okay, that guy broke off. I think those are P-36s, and wow. That did not take very much to set his engine on fire. Oh. No, he's cooked. He's cooked. Yeah, he's cooked. Looks like there's still some more fighters over here. Kind of over the attack target. Don't need to worry about him anymore. Looks like we've got some cargo ships in the bay here. Fair bit of anti-aircraft fire. I think the pilot might have burnt to death at this point, because it doesn't look like he bailed out. Uh -oh. Oh, 
there's that. I think that's our fifth kill, actually, so we are officially a Japanese ace. Let's go. Alright, this guy is definitely in trouble. Although our friend here is not finishing the job. Neither am I. Interesting, it has no markings. I wonder if that's just a... Uh, no, you're not getting on me, boy. But yeah, these are P-36s. Or Hawks. Whatever you want to call them. Oh, I got a hit. One of the cannon runs. Okay, I'm feeling the roll rate is a bit of a problem here. Oh yeah, he's gone. No markings for some reason. I guess one of the skins didn't load properly, but that's alright. I suspect the other one that I saw has already been shot down. I am quite hesitant to engage in any ground attack operations here because this plane cannot take any punishment. One bofers round to this thing and I might as well just explode. my wing man. That might wrap up our little excursion here. Yeah, don't want to be over here. It looks like our friends are, and by our friends, uh, our leader is uh, sticking around here, so I don't know if there's going to be another wave of attacks, and we're just providing air cover the entire time, or oh, what, but I think I'll patrol around here for a bit, and if uh, fuel starts to become a problem, then I'll head back to the carrier, but... Until something happens, see that. All right, welcome back. You're coming in for landing run here. Getting everything ready. Let's not forget that arresting hook. Coming in on the right carrier. Right? Wait a second, that doesn't look like an iron carrier. No, I think this is our carrier. No, this is our carrier. I told this guy to break. I don't know why he's not breaking.
Slow and steady now. Oh my goodness. Hey, we did it. Let's go. We'll call that a successful landing. Nothing broke. We're alive. Let's go. Alright, so that was the invasion of Rabal. Got those two P36 kills. And I'm actually I'm not sure what's gonna be next. I'll have to check. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's a another carrier strike since that's what the Japanese were doing a lot of in the early days of the war. In fact I wouldn't be surprised if the Darwin raid came up here next. Really not sure on the history whether or not the Akagi took part in the Darwin raid, but I have a feeling that they probably did. But uh, yeah, I'd call that a successful mission. Another two kills. I think we're up to six kills since our debut in China. Looking forward to where Izumi Fushida is going to end up. Yeah. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one.